Hello and welcome back to Zero Escape. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors, I believe is the full title. Whatever. We're getting into it. Uh, I was just able to finish the first room, albeit very slowly, <sighs> regretfully. And it's probably going to be the easiest one to solve as well. And I made that so excruciatingly painful. That being said, let's get into it. I do not want to save anything. Let's go. Uh, my head. Wait, is it... is it over? Whew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. Well, oh. better than drowning, I guess. Mm-hmm. Am I in a hallway? Uh, kind of. It might... might be. It also might be a stairwell, depending if we're, like, floating on top of the water. Oh. A door. Another door. Oh, boy. This water. Ugh. Let me go. Huh, oh, yes. It opened. What? What the hell? Hmm. This is a lot more luxurious than I was expecting. I was expecting, like, all the metal everywhere. This is the inside of a ship? Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally, a. Uh... Wait, what the hell? Where? Oh, more the people. Wave. Oh shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here. More people are opening up their rooms. Or the water is just pouring in constantly. B deck. Okay. Hurry! Hurry! A deck's next. It should. There was a four there. What? a weird crew of people. People. A lot of people. Yeah, four, myself, five, six, seven, eight. Um. Uh, uh, I guess it's another one of us now. Dancer. Okay. Yeah, uh, a, a, a dancer. No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well. Okay then. <laughs> Nonchalant conversation. Silver hair? Huh? <laughs> One of us, huh? We're, what? Nothing. They've already seen the watches. Up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. A lion. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! That voice sounds familiar. I think, like, Tenko Chabashira from Danganronpa. That's nine of us, then. All of the cards are in hand. Wait! Wait, nine? They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> huh? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we're just making noise. Ah! What was that all about? Hey! You're asking what me. What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? Uh, the doors on A deck are no good. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Okay. Hey, man, that was dangerous. <laughs> huh? Asshole. Four? And this one says. Five. It's the same. Yeah. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. Mm hmm. What was yours? You too, right? Eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. Me too. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? <sighs> Open! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way. Yeah, I don't know why you expected trying to pound on a full metal door would do anything. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. There must be some other way. I'm five. Whoever was four. Next to the door in that room earlier. So that means this door is probably locked too. 
but still. Uh, damn it! Are there any other doors? Uh, okay, interesting. Novel screen. He had scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs, next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. Hello. Uh, did we know about you, or did they know about you before? It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. Oh god, are we gonna get some romance shit in this? He froze, unable to look away from her face. Of course. <laughs> he wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No. There was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Uh, Weird boots, socks, dress, hairpin, sister, maybe? Family member? Junpei had seen her somewhere before. Oh, okay, not that quite... Uh, quite closely related. Couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he had met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpei, similarly staring, stunned. <laughs> her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Uh. God, they make so many noises. Huh? God damn it. Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly toward her. You're going to drown. <laughs> she didn't move. It was almost as though she had held in place by some... She was held in place by some sort of magical spell. As Junpei stepped onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. Yeah! Is that us colliding with an iceberg? The quake caught the girl unprepared and she fell. Watch out! Moving on instinct, Junpei leapt to catch her. Or so he thought. Mm-hmm. Face was as, was far closer than it should have should have been. Can you guys just fall down the steps close, like literally on top of one another, mere inches from his own? Yeah. He was flat on his back, and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggested that she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment, that seemed too uh, that seemed to stretch for a very long time. They stared at one another. The the ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly as walls and ceilings, uh, faintly at walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, a thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her mouth. Oh my gosh, is that you, Jumpy? What? Jumpy? Jumpy? Her words echoed through Junpei's head, and suddenly, his memory returned. Uh, Akane. Uh. Why do I know you? I hadn't even realized it before. The girl was Akane Kurashiki. Okay. She and Junpei were friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of his face. I was like, that was an end of a sentence. Why is it starting with a lowercase c? Because there was more. Feelings he'd thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. Yep, there's romance in this for some reason. <laughs> he could feel his face heating up. At that moment. Hello. <laughs> Uh, you didn't hear it before? Mm hmm This is... That guy in the gas mask! Mm hmm Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. What do you mean to do to us? The nonary game? So, only select of us went through what I went through. Nonary game? What the hell's that? So, you guys didn't get that. Interesting.
What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. What's up? Hey, I, I got one too. Okay, uh, should I read this or should I just let it explain? Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Okay. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? Me? On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. Mm -hmm. We will call them the numbered doors. Gotcha. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. So, am I five, or was that just the the signature number that I was supposed to get to get out? Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Gotcha. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. Hmm. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. Was that there before? I thought this was blank. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Mm -hmm. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. What's up? Nine hours with nine persons I hear a bell. to find nine doors. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. Mm hmm. Starting now, do we get nine hours? It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? Okay. Ten, eleven, twelve, uh, one, two. Three, four, five, six. At six a.m., we're dead. Supposedly. I think it's nine p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. Not exactly. Eh, could have been. We could. Or, yeah, I was just about to say we're underwater. The water's pouring in. It has to be nighttime. Yeah, we're also on the lower floors. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by six a.m. tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, now that I think about it, the windows being underwater of a ship would be really kind of stupid. There's no point to that. Oh, well. Maybe I am right, but how would the water pour in if it wasn't... Oh, well. Doesn't matter too, too much. Hey! You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. <laughs> And the others. <sighs> Mountain. Mm -hmm. hmm. Lion. Dancer and Akane, right? Uh. Whew. Uh, I have way too many questions. Inside his own head. Interesting. Who is Hero? Yeah. What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us? Or does he have some other purpose? Why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others? Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? Well, if you're randomly selected, there's probably a reason she's randomly selected as well. But we all might have reasons that are tied to Zero, or possibly... Eh... I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, the right from the very beginning, suspecting Akane, like, just being zero to set all this up or some stupid shit. I don't know. Sometimes I, did, I like that plot twist. Sometimes I just feel like it's cheap and out of the way. I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? 
No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Yeah. Get moving? Exploring. Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Yeah. Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this this zero says. Why not? No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. Uh So we're on a moving vessel in the middle of an ocean, we can presume. And as far as I know, we were given a chance to escape out of a locked room that we're supposedly going to die in in a limited amount of time. Why would you not? I don't know. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? <laughs> Where have we not looked? Everyone searched a deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. Mm-hmm. Well, as far as down, as far down as we can go. I, we were on the D floor, right? When I escaped? I can work with that. Then let's go. Yeah, this is the lowest we're gonna go to see. Whoa! What the hell? It's completely submerged. Is the water still rising? Damn. The water level keeps rising like this. We're all gonna drown. Okay, it's still raising. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. Why not? See? The water's not flowing. Oh, gotcha. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Interesting. How? Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. Hmm. Okay. So possibly we get... Uh, just we keep pushing farther and farther up, maybe? And like each floor gets closed off. He said that our time limit was nine hours. Mm hmm In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. <sighs> That's depressing. <laughs> if we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Mm hmm. Oh, wait, no, I just remember the five and four doors were uh, on the B floor, right? Huh, or you're uh, right. B deck? I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. I don't know why you guys just recommend that we should check things out. We should just check out everything. No numbers on either door. Mm -hmm. And I don't see an authentication device either. Correct. Nope. It's locked. Oh, shit. Hmm. This one, too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey, guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. Behind the stairs? <sighs> this one doesn't open either. Oh. We'll see about that. Hey, old man. Give me a hand. There's a keyhole lock, Using though. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. Oh, I thought he was going to be sarcastic. <laughs> It won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Idiots. Try using your brain first. Huh? Take a closer look. Uh, just the lock? A keyhole. Oh, okay. Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, so my obviously a key, huh? I'm obviously thinking ahead. <laughs> you got a problem? No, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> What's this? Yeah, this part is what was throwing me off. Like, obviously, here's a keyhole. Then there's something here, and then like the door handle to actually turn. I think I don't remember the design of the handle is up here there's a mark on it D does it mean something hey look over here too hmm? over where more doors what the fuck these are elevators 
So I can assume that is... That's a Zodiac sign, I think. Tauros? Maybe? Maybe. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. Yeah, that's definitely a Zodiac symbol. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. Uh... Four is Mars, five is Jupiter, six is Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. Mm -hmm. Then the mark on the other door... I think that was the sun symbol. Oh, gotcha. So zero, we would assume? We saw the same symbols on A deck. You did. We did? <laughs> I don't remember that. Hmm. A deck, huh? huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. You may as well check again since we're talking about it. Yeah. There. The two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. Mm hmm. She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. Yeah, I don't know this one. This is an Earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. Okay. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Okay. So I just want to note that the the uh, Saturn sign, I also knew that was a, a symbol for planet. I didn't know which one. I didn't want to take a gamble and be extremely wrong because there's a lot less planets than there are uh, uh, astrological, or not astrological, uh, zodiac signs. The only one that I can name off the top of my head is Mars, which just, I think, is the symbol for male boy. I think there might be a small difference somewhere in it, but I don't remember what. Metal plates. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. Mm -hmm. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows too. Huh. They're all covered. Mm -hmm. In other words, we're trapped. We're trapped. <laughs> all the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait a minute. What's up? I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. What other choice do we have? We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. Can't stay here forever. Yes, I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what will happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Hmm, so we've already spent half an hour just looking around. Okay. Uh... Hey! Shut up! Oh. Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. Uh, and that is... What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious, too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Yeah, I, I hate that name. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. I don't think that was the best information to relay immediately, because people are going to start suspecting why are we together. Wait, stop. Yeah. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Okay, okay. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you going to do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would. We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. All right, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. <laughs> I guarantee your number is seven. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm going to be Santa. Okay. Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, sun three. means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? A little bit, I guess. Then your bracelet number. Three. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well, then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Mm-hmm. Ichi. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be Lotus, then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. I did not know that. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. <laughs> eight. God. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. Three state. Uh... One is taken, three is taken, eight is taken, five is taken. S snake. My bracelet oh, number yeah. is two. I, I I was looking at five. I'm like, but that's already taken. I'm <laughs> dumbass. I'm an idiot. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly, which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. Really? Huh? So have you been navigating? You can't see? I knew it. Me next! I want to be Clover. Four. You know, like a four-leaf clover. Good luck, right? Ugh. Doesn't really right. vote us off with confidence. Five. So my code name is gonna be... Uh, go... something. Well, I have one. It's not like there's any point to it now. Yeah, Junpei. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh. Then you should all call me by my name too. Uh, because I mean, it doesn't seem It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Correct. Uh, What's your bracelet number? Let's see. One, two, three, four is good, five, seven. And there's also the nerd. It's six. Yeah, six. All right, then. Uh, why don't we call you June? June? June and Junpei. Yeah, you know, it's the it's the sixth month of the year. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay, then. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Mm -hmm. Two is Snake. Snake. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is seven. And eight is Lotus. Yeah, so the nerd is nine. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is... That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. Has he just been, like, gone from us the entire time? No, he is. You here. haven't said a thing so far, have you? Is he mute? <sighs> okay, I, I was wondering, like, I just... I never paid attention out for what, um... Junpei gave this guy as a... As a code name. <laughs> what number are you? Mm. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? Oh. There are nine people here, and you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? Uh, code name? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should, too. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not going to stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. How? Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah. All right. Let me show you. I'm going to do this. What? <laughs> hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Uh... Okay, she was... Four. He was. He was nine. Thirteen. Four. Is he gonna try and go through the fourth door? Cause you need. Uh, what was it? 
three or four to five people or something like that. Three to five, something. Stay back. But uh, why? If you get any closer, I'll cut her open. Why? Uh, yeah, that's right. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you, this is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to her. Oh, I thought he was gonna say her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. Uh. Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here. Verify. Uh. The left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel. The round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it. Do it now. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this. So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then... Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets? Mm -hmm. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Yeah. Uh, so it requires at least three, at max five. But there's only two doors, so somebody is, is going to be left out. Oh, actually, no, you can have four and five. Yeah, so we're fine. I'm, I'm dumb. I was like, three or five. Yeah. And find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Door five. Why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. Good. Good. You're done. Next. Maybe for his room he had to do it? You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Oh. Why are you going for Ace? Yes, I am. So? Then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> oh, is he going through five? What are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers, 4 and 1. 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. It's the same as the number written on the door. Yes, but then he's going to add 9, which is going to be 14. 1 plus 4 is 5. But it won't open yet. Only 3 to 5 people can pass through one numbered door. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? He needs himself. Someone needs to jump in immediately and just put their hand in. Get back! No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Come on, speed this up. I've already figured this out. <laughs> Plus one plus nine is fourteen. Oh my god. Digital root of fourteen. One plus four is five. Yes. In other words. <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Ah oh, damn it! So he did put it in. need you anymore hmm I, I was about to say like for uh, the notice did say that all f everyone that was going to be participating needed to be like the uh, like was it like equal participation something okay so nine four and one are all out so we have two two three Five, six, seven, 
and eight. Right? That's six. Yeah. Uh... Oh, well, I, I would have to read them, have them written out so I can keep track of them so I would be able to find out what the digital route is to see who's going to, unfortunately, be left behind. <laughs> Wait! Here! She's all yours! <laughs> okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye! Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. So, are there numbers still available to use? Damn it! That bastard! Uh, what happened to you? Oh, they're trying to open it. Open, damn it! Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like, what? Like, some sort of beeping. Are Ace and Clover going to be okay? You're right. I can hear it too. Uh-oh. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! Oh, okay. So we're getting an example of what happens if you don't complete the room. You... you lied! Lied? This wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? Okay, why would he say you lied? It's not like we were told that we were going to obtain freedom just by going through the one door. We're looking for a door with a nine on it, I believe. So, nerdy number nine had to have had a connection to zero, right? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please, get me out of here! Get me out of here! Ah, uh, god damn it! Are we gonna do it? It's engaged. Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Uh, oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left! Listen, I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! Huh. It was him! He killed me! It was him! He killed me? Are we all supposed to be dead? <laughs> Did the braces blow up? <sighs> A beep? Did that thing just make that sound? Yeah, it did. Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Five. Uh, well, it registered my bracelet number. Yeah. But it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. What to do? Uh, Ace and Lotus. Uh, that's nine plus five. Uh, 14, 14, mm, snake and seven. Uh, ace and lotus, snake and seven. So we, what? Oh, God. This makes me uncomfortable that I get to choose who I go through with. Uh, snake and seven. It's nine. Yeah, they're all nine with my five. Okay. Um, I do like Lotus. She seems very level-headed. Snake and seven. Snake, unfortunately, not being able to see. Although he is, he seems very, yeah, Lotus and Snake are like even footing for me. Uh, Santa and June. I guess... I hate that I'm doing this with people I don't know if it could work out correctly. Let's go Ace and Lotus. Ace, Lotus, 
You think you could give me a hand here? Hmm. Hmm. Five plus one plus eight equals fourteen. The digital root of fourteen, one plus four, equals five. Five. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. Oh my god! Is that blood from the previous occupant? Good god! Whoa, that's pretty bad. He... he blew up. Oh, we didn't go in. Uh, June, uh, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Uh, where'd this fever come from? Huh? Fever? Uh... All right, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. How are you feeling? Are you all right? Why? Why did this happen? Because the asshole just wanted to go through it. He, he didn't give a shit about the rest of us. Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <laughs> hmm. A full hour has passed. It's ten o'clock then. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero was going on about is up! Let's get going already! Go! Go! No. I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Well, we don't have to end up like him if we just work together. <laughs> I mean, the rules have kind of been displayed before us. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course, who else? Blood. Oh, blood and pieces of flesh. That's no way for a person to die. <clears throat> well, he was kind of an asshole. Also, where the fuck did he get the knife? I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. Or the entire thing is a trap. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive! Much like every trap that is set for catching animals, there's a way to disarm it. <laughs> oh. What's so goddamn funny? Sorry, Prince. I didn't mean to click that. Er, snake. Oh, my apologies. You were just, uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? Are you being sarcastic? I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least, not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Then? He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Huh? You still don't... Ugh. All right. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said. Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? Three to five. He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door, right? Mm-hmm. And after that, you've forgotten the relevant part. Three people need to have gone through the door. What did Zero say? <sighs> they need to participate equally. Zero said that only two people can go through, that everyone who, uh, that everyone who verified had to go, more than six people can go through. Uh... This is the only one that makes sense. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. Okay. Right. <laughs> See, like, that's the part that I remembered, and I'm almost like, this, it, I don't remember that being written specifically. I think it was something like that. <laughs> Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. Thank you. The ninth man, however, broke that rule. Mm -hmm. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. Yep. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere, making sure we don't break any rules. 
Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? Uh, how do you know? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but... That seems increasingly unlikely. Why? Do you know something? Yeah. Well, I know a great many things, but yes. Can you stop being cryptic? What is it you know? Here. A card? What does it say? Uh, is it written in Braille? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? <laughs> I see. Can I, uh, anything? Yes. This is Braille. Yep, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, what are we supposed to obtain from this? Unfortunately, I can't read Braille, and I never uh, went through the experience of trying to figure out how to read Braille for the Pokemon game. <laughs> Uh, to unlock the Reggies, so I don't quite remember or know what these actually mean. I know it's a system of six. Sorry, guys, I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. Okay, so what did, what did, uh, Santa have in his pocket? I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? What was it that Zero, or... I don't remember. Oh, well. What, what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Hmm, why specifically you? Since you are not blessed with sight, oh. I shall bless you, and only you, with information. Uh. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. Dead and dead. The red is the recognition device. Gotcha. Okay. So what about the redemption arc? <laughs> Sorry, I had to at some point. <laughs> if you verify your number, beside every number door, you will find a bed. The dead is the deactivation device. The activation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, you must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you, and the people who you are about to meet. Inside of us, not the bracelet. Gotcha. You swallowed it while you were unconscious. Oh. I have no doubt. By the time you read this note, the bar will have passed your stomach and found it way to your small intestine. I see. It's small intestine. Uh, how long does it take for food to pass through this, uh, food? I actually don't remember this from biology class, like the estimated time. Hmm. Words, you would be unable to regurgitate it, as it is to the not lie. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a bit more. Think of it as a remote field, a timer, the thought in your body. There is only one condition to call it hitmate. That condition is that you enter a numbered door. Once you have done so, the time will activate, no matter who you may be. You will have 81 seconds. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's such a small amount of time! If, after that time, the detonator has not been deactivated, it will send a signal to the bomb in your body, instructing it to explode. Why 81? Nine seconds? It, it's supposed to add up to nine. In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the bed must also verify their numbers at the dead. Okay. Once all numbers have been verified by the bed, 
Is there any way to induce a heart rate of zero to bring you back? You have to legally be pronounced dead, and then you have to jump start your heart again. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. Hmm. So it's saying... Only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the number doors. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and executioner. Mm-hmm. What's happening? Shit! A fucking bomb! Oh. C come out! Uh, uh, come out, damn it! Oh, they're trying to... For induced vomiting. There's a bomb inside me. Oh. What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? All right. Shits and giggles. I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? Hmm. Actually, I... I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. But technically, we did too. I didn't see his face, though. Yeah, so we don't really know anything, but we. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. Mm hmm. What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like surprise or something? I saw that too. I did as well. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? Oh, so all of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. At midnight. We can imagine that it's 9 p.m. the next day? Or, I guess, the same day if it was at midnight. Wait, we were all taken at midnight? So this is a multiple person operation. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. We all woke up on D-Deck. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Weird. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. So, I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. Wait, how did- you were both kidnapped from the same room and you woke up together? How did you know this? So, what's the deal with the two of you anyway? What? Why- why do I know- why do I know this? Was I not paying attention out for a certain line? We're siblings. Oh, okay. Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. That really so hard to understand? Mm, not really. She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? 
No, because my sister and I are completely different looking, so it's not that far-fetched for me. But I, I, I guarantee I missed something in the script earlier. Well, yeah, but why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Junpei and June? Those two, for instance. Hey. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Yeah. Oh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Wait, you went to school together? It, uh, elementary school. Yeah? Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Maybe, but it'd be hard. Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims, and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. You would think, but sometimes random is in the mix. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Uh, does any of what? Huh, ring a bell. Ring a bell? Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multimillionaire. Mm, yeah, I guess. A millionaire? Son? Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of... This. And how do you know male? Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. Oh yeah, very much so. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! I mean, he kind of did that to himself, but oh well. I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's got to be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. It's pretty fucked up, but at the same, in the same token, everything is still set up for us to solve it. Although, I do not like the timer being only 81 seconds. That is, that is, uh, pretty bad. <laughs> If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. Uh, 15, 30 minutes have passed we again. With that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! We've spent an hour and a half. Talking won't solve anything! It can't help us find our way out of here! You really sure you want to just sit around? only got seven and a half hours left we already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours you're right very well then there's only one way for us to proceed sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when zero says jump well it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing well, thanks to snake's card at least we have some idea of how this all works correct and so long as we all follow the rules we should uh, we will most likely be all right. Snake the realist. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Yeah, this is the part that we have to figure out. So, nine people are no longer. It's only eight. We have to figure out if we can... Uh, I would like us all to go in, like, evenly, if at all possible. But I would need to uh, have it written out. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's right. We four can't have four. any more than five people in one door. Uh, or three and five, we'll see. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Correct. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Door five? Okay, that's perfectly fine. You were eight? Lotus eight, yeah. So if you're going to go through four, uh, eight... Uh, everything else would have to add up to a three. What am I thinking? No. <laughs> uh, to get four, uh, we would need like 13. Yeah, we would need at least 13 in some way. But I think, I think your number might be a bit too high to allow for that. But I'll just have to continue the combinations. Oh, well. Come on now. Don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. That is a solution, but it's not one that I like. And we were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. Uh, you were three, right? 
Yeah, San. Yeah. Okay, so eight, three, eleven. Uh, it's two. We need a uh, person with two, and that was Snake. If he wants to, and that cover at least five, or er, door four, and that would leave five of us. Uh, so two, three, and eight. That means one, four, five, six, seven. Seven, six, thirteen, five. Uh, it's 20, uh, yeah, 22, plus Clover is 4, 26, plus 1, 27, that would just add up to 9, or, I, I, don't, I don't remember, my mind's jumbled up in a bunch of numbers trying to get the roots of everything, doesn't matter. Hey man, I just bought these shoes, if you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. What the hell, man? Think? We got another think coming? Is that a typo that they actually had the voice actor read? Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Fine. I'll go into door five. Yeah. I can't go in there alone, though. Mm hmm Anyone else willing to come with me? Okay, seven. We need... Uh... Add up to... Hmm, we would at least lead 14, so 7, 2, and 5. Snake and myself. I'll go. Yep, so that means I'll go. What? Don't worry, you'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. <laughs> That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door 5. Okay, all right. Two, four, six, seven, thirteen, four. Uh, we need one ace. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and snake is two. I mean, I don't know why I go through this because the script is just gonna go through and if it you for add clovers four in my one. The digital root will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is fourteen. The digital root of fourteen. One plus four is five. I'm sorry. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital route gonna be? Okay, uh, uh, that's five, six, eight, and three? Yeah, uh, five, five, six, eleven, three, fourteen, 14 and 8, 22. That's 4. Did we just get really lucky? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Our bracelet numbers are 8, 3, 6, and 5. 11, 17, 22. 8, 3, 6, 5. What would our digital root be? 4. 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 is 22. So... Digital root of 22, 2 plus 2 equals 4. How the fuck did that just happen randomly? It's 4. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is 4. Then we can go into door 4. Okay. Alright. Uh, I need to break this up at some point. At least we know who's going into 5 and who's going into 4. I'm going to end this episode right here. And hopefully... We'll get more in the future. Uh, I don't know the future of their group, but obviously because there's more to this game that I'm going to have to survive is Junpei. Who knows if he makes it through the entire game. Um, but... <sighs> Four of us. Interesting. I do like this game. It, it's oddly... Oddly enough, it's a lot of fun. And I'm sorry that I didn't uh, do a lot in this episode because it was just a lot of script reading and letting the game explain itself. Uh, but I, to make up for it, I'll, I guess I'll explain why I'm doing this in the first place. Normally I like to go through games and it's probably evident on my channel in alphabetical order. This is just so out of the blue 
there's no rhyme or reason for it, except that one of the channels that I uh, actually sped through Danganronpa ahead of time for with uh, ProZD Plays Games is now releasing this. And I think they've got like nine episodes already out at doing like 30 minute increments. I don't want, I have not watched a single episode of it, so I'm going to have to catch up at some point for theirs and see what they do and how they struggle with it. But for the most part, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I, I, I love these types of stories that it's all hidden in secrets. That being said, we're getting into quite a doozy in the next episode. So thank you so much for uh, coming out to see this episode. Sorry you didn't have anything uh, to witness for me uh, losing my mind over. Uh, you probably got enough of that in the first episode, so... Thanks, I guess. Thank you. And, uh, hopefully you're looking forward to more. And, uh, in the meantime, have a nice day.